hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching i am a coffee diva and i have a disaster kitchen clean for you guys today so i know it's been a while since i posted and i had something tragic happen so i needed some time to kind of process everything um i'm still not the same and maybe in another video i will get into it but right now i just want to give you guys tons of motivation if you're dealing with something really hard if you are dealing with depression or anxiety or any of those issues i'm here to tell you you can get through this you can do this so let's get started If you guys subscribe to my channel or watch any of my videos, you know I always start with a big water bottle. I like to drink water throughout the day. I am prone to migraines and headaches, so it really helps me stay hydrated and motivated while I'm cleaning. So I always start off by doing the dishes first. I will unload everything that's dry and then kind of have everything soaking in the sink while I'm doing that. I think the biggest way you can tackle a big disaster clean is if you just start in one spot and then you see just a tiny bit of progress, like for instance, the kitchen sink becomes clean and clear uncluttered it kind of sets the ball in motion and you're able to tackle the other spaces in the kitchen for me when i'm struggling with my anxiety or depression for some reason i just always leave dishes <laughs> Um, I can kind of manage to cook at times or, you know, clean up the bedroom if maybe I'm in it more, but I just like loathe dishes. <laughs> and then it's weird because sometimes it's very therapeutic for me. So I kind of feel like I'm both where when my depression and anxiety are very high, I have to like leave everything but then i'm also kind of ocd and i prefer my apartment to be super organized and really clean so it's really exhausting <laughs> and tough to kind of like deal with both of them um this is a extreme circumstance you know when you're grieving and going through something like this whatever you can do to feel better um you have to just kind of go with it so i was leaving everything for about a month and then i think this past week i've been trying to get back on track not even because i feel better to be honest but just because like i said i don't like to have clutter or any kind of a mess around me it will make me feel worse so I'm just continuing to do the dishes and since a lot of stuff was probably on since the night before, I, I like to use the Dawn Power Wash Spray. It's really good at getting anything um, stuck on dishes off and then I always proceed to clean out the sink after all the dishes which you will see I keep finding more. <laughs> So I keep adding dishes after I'm like trying to clean the sink out. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section if you guys do a whole sink full of dishes and then you go around the house and find a bunch of cups. <laughs> I always have coffee mugs like everywhere in the house. You would think like we're a Starbucks.
I also hope you guys like my new music that I chose since it was a disaster clean. I wanted to put something super motivating and fun for you guys. So I know sometimes I put on these videos in the background um, to like motivate me or just be like background sound or music. So I thought it would be good to put something a little more upbeat. And as you saw, I cleaned out every part of the sink, including like the bottle brush. And then I used this bio cleaner, which I'm obsessed with. I got it off of QVC one day, just like a random impulse purchase, but it will take any stain off your stainless steel sink. Um, I've used it on my like white tiles in the bathroom and the bathtub. Um, it'll definitely take off like soap scum, anything like that. And then I use those little packets, which I've had in my videos before. Um, they're eco-friendly and it's just like an all natural um, little pocket with, how do I describe it? So you can use it in a garbage disposal, but I put it in my drain. I don't have a garbage disposal, but it just kind of deodorizes your sink drain and makes it smell good because i always tell you guys that sometimes the smells you have in your kitchen are not just from your garbage um when you cook like scents and food get onto your cabinets so it's important to wipe them down um obviously you know all kinds of cruddy stuff goes down your drain so you definitely should be cleaning it um i usually finish off with a spray as well and as you can see, I was wiping down the cabinets and I'm just moving on to the other side of the counter. And I was using these new um, eco-friendly wipes. And we have a little <laughs> starring guest in the video. That is my new puppy. She was my sister's and now I have her with me. Her name is Frances Ann, but we call her either Frankie or Peanut, and she is just the love of my life. <laughs> So now I'm just going to clean the stove with my Blue Land multi-surface cleaner and I do the backsplash as well. Um, I absolutely hate these cleaners. <laughs> I think I said in my last video that I was really disappointed. All the bottles broke and um, they just don't really clean. The scents are kind of funny. Um, they turn bad very quickly because they are um, a natural cleaner and I am just would not recommend them to anyone. I'm pretty, I'm pretty disappointed. So here you can see I just decided to soak the grates because they were greasy. And I'm gonna let that soak with some Dawn dish soap while I tackle the kitchen table. So I was playing the recording back and I heard Frankie barking, but I thought it was adorable, so I left it in. Um, I am proceeding to clean up the kitchen table. And um, I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to everybody that still followed me and still subscribed to my channel, even though I haven't been here for like over a month. Um, I used to watch these videos and just like dream of doing this full time as a business. Um, I'm just starting out, you know, I only have 105 subscribers. Um, some people I know they say, you know, they grow their channel in a year which is crazy or you know some people say it takes a couple of years when you do it you know the natural way and you're not you know getting any help let's just say so i love creating things i've always been like a very hands-on creative person um and I'm just looking forward to doing this full time and making it a business, God willing, one day. But until then, I just love having 
you know fun videos for you guys i really like to try and motivate and inspire people um since i've been through a lot of tragedy in my life so usually i either start with lighting the candle or halfway in i will light one and it's kind of an indicator to my brain like okay you did a good job you know you worked hard we're halfway there or maybe we're just starting and between the ambience of the light and depending on what scent you got it can be really therapeutic to see that after you clean or to clean with it on All right, so I'm kind of making a roundabout in the kitchen. We did the dishes, the counters, the stove, moving to the right, the kitchen table. Now we're on the other side of the kitchen. That's where I keep Frankie's little treats. So we always wanna start by clearing any clutter off the counter first before we even wipe anything down. And I kind of do an impromptu stock up of my Nespresso pods and everything. And then I said to myself, I'm gonna stop recording and do another video because I noticed that a lot of viewers loved my Nespresso um, video. So I actually, after this one, I'm gonna edit the next video and I'm super excited to show you guys that. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like stocking up all of the summer Nespresso pods. And I won't get too much into it because I'll save that for the next video. <laughs> All right, so we made it guys. Everything is beautiful and clean and back in its space. The sun started shining right afterwards. And I did a little rearrange in this area um, with my Nespresso and the Ninja. I just kind of like to switch things up. And I also have the boxes on the left my husband is taking out, so I just kind of left them there. But if you made it this far, leave a comment below with um, your favorite Nespresso blend. And please click the like button if you love these videos and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Ciao.